can't hear the stairs. Alright. So, now, when you're doing a diamond dart, guys, because with all the other darts, you guys notice you're always starting with the widest side of the dart legs. So, with the diamond dart, since the widest part is in the center, we'll start in the center. So, when you start sewing your diamond dart, we won't do a back stitch. We'll do the back stitch the next time I start to sew on that side. So here I'll just sew straight down to my match point or past my match point. Reduce it to one and a half. If you sew past the match point. You untie your knot. Okay, and flip it over. And we'll start in the middle. Okay. And we'll do a back stitch. So we're at two and a half. Back stitch. All right, and then we're gonna come all the way down. So as you're getting closer to the match point, Reduce it to one and a half, and then, okay. So your back stitch is in the middle, just one time, and you're tying a knot on both ends, okay. So that's how you guys do your diamond dot. Now, a lot of times with some fabrics, you may have um, fabrics that are pretty stiff, like they may have some plastic in them, and they don't give very easily, so you can always just cut a little slit here in the center so that it can be more flexible around the waistline. Okay. So you just cut it there, but don't cut it past your stitches.